This is 10 News Nightcast. It's an incredible promise, healing the mind, body, spirit, and all you have to do is touch it. When 10 News reporter Fred Blankenship learned these healing instruments were coming to San Diego, he went looking in tonight's Nightcast investigation. How do we know for certain that it's a spirit world? Yeah. This is Mo Miller. She's with the Gentle Wind Project. They're based in this house in Kittery, Maine. They build themselves as a world healing organization with a remarkable healing technology. So the people go, wow, what was that? So what is this remarkable healing technology? Laminated high density healing and pain card available for a $450 donation? And this is the Rainbow Puck 5. In this case, a donation of almost $6,000. Our concern is that they are uh, scamming people and selling basically pieces of uh, paper and plastic. Attorney Carl Sterrett works with investigator Kevin LaChapelle. Consumer complaints from across the globe let them to look into the Gentle Wind Project. And they basically convince you that once you buy one of these healing instruments that now you will be uh, an instrument keeper. And by that, you're going to be able to help mankind. We checked. The healing instruments are not FDA approved. Gentle Wind never claims they are. However, the Attorney General's office in Maine says they're looking into Gentle Wind Project. They're reluctant to elaborate. And the Gentle Wind Project group was scheduled to have a meeting here in Ocean Beach at the People's Market sometime tomorrow. Once we told those here what's going on, suddenly plans have changed. We told the market what we've learned. They're going to share it as a healing instrument. Still, when we spoke with Mo Miller by phone this evening, she maintains the instruments have healing powers and they're free if you're honestly interested in saving humanity. This comes from a place of good. Think this is a small-time operation? According to their tax statement, the Gentle Wind Project took in $1.2 million in contributions in 2001. $861,368 is spent for developing healing instruments. Mo Miller says this comes to her telepathically. Received and maintained telepathic and Kevin LaChapelle is still suspicious. Clearly, their motive in this whole thing is money. This is all about money. Fred Blankenship, 10 News. Uh, here's the phone number for the Attorney General's office in Maine, 207-626-8591. They're interested in hearing from any Gentlewind clients who have not been healed as promised.